I, I, I got used to you joining on Zoom. Okay, that's right. Zoom. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Now that you've seen my face and my red cap, let me be doing it. <laughs> you're coming, you're coming. So, yeah. All right. Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. I did too. Um, what happened this weekend? No, the question is what didn't happen this weekend? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, we're going to talk about um, Team Nigeria in Ghana. We'll touch on that a little bit. Still back second on the table, but we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, we'll talk about how, what happened in the desert, you know, after the bee invasion, how the tennis went on, and the finals of both the men and the women's um, championships in Indian Wells and there'll be Miami this week, so we'll touch a little bit on that. Uh, we'll also talk about Manchester United. We don't have therapy sessions for them. What we have is bragging opportunity. <laughs> Can't only be doing therapy session. We have to do <coughs> bragging opportunity. So Manchester United did a thing yesterday and their fans are going to brag about it. So we, we will open the phone lines for that just to make CB feel bad. Because even if her team won, we are not giving them any time. Anybody can beat them, man, Leicester City. Um, <laughs> so we don't send ZB. <laughs> uh, uh, so we'll touch on all that, uh, touch a little bit on uh, Spain, Italy, and then I will let you know how um, the FA Cup draws went. So we'll touch about on all of that today. But before we do that, ZB. Tell us, how can we be a part of the documentary? All right, there are a few ways. One is just send us a message via WhatsApp 0809. Be excited. Now, it's because I said Chelsea Pool cannot call. 0809 <laughs> You can also tweet at Smooth981. And guess what? We are streaming live. Smooth981. Oh, right, that's the camera. Smooth981 <laughs> on YouTube. You can catch the live stream and post a comment on there as well. All right, that's nice. You get a prize. You get a prize. You I all like get that. prizes. You all get prizes. All right, um, so let's go to headline first because we have a lot of stories to race through. On the boat this morning, African Games flying eagles crash out after defeat against Senegal, as it's been difficult. Accra's all smiles again after Indian Wells triumph, and there will be Shonturk crushes Sakari to win second Indian Wells title. Of course, there will be Pochettino pleads with Chelsea fans to trust him after Leicester's care. There will be Barcelona outclass Atletico in win to climb second, as there will be Man United hope Trillin Cup win over Liverpool will turn season around, as leaders Inter held to draw by Napoli, Osimes Napoli, and record-breaking Leverkusen battle past Freiburg to edge closer to the maiden league title and more. All right, so it, 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 that 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 is that thing is coming home. It's no it's no longer far. Just eight games left in the Bundesliga, and if Bayern Leverkusen can keep that ten points gap, in fact, they don't need a ten point gap. They just need a one point to play, but they have ten points to play around with, and they get the trophy. But before we talk about what's happening in Germany, let's touch on what's happening with the Eagles. We hear they didn't fly again. Oops. Nigeria's flying <laughs> eagles on Friday crashed out of the African Games football event at the ongoing African Games in Accra, Ghana. All right, so um, the flying, you, you know what, what happens in the um, Africa Games? It's not the senior teams that go; it's the age grade teams. Um, the Falcons are still there, Sha. Let me just let your mask know. Mask, hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the flying eagles are back. Um, they were knocked, in fact, they lost two matches um, and won one. And that's why they are they're back, uh, they're out of the tournament. And, you know, a, a few people, because not a lot of people have pounced on this. Once it's eighth grade, sometimes coaches tend to get away with it. Um, and so a few people had questioned Ladamboso. And Ladamboso said, oh, that he brought some guys back because they missed the opportunity to go for the last tournament. I was like, wait. You, you, you think the age grade system is a reward system so you miss the opportunity to go for the other tournament so we now brought you back to come to this tournament have you seen why they have failed because instead of you to pick the best team you had you picked the people you wanted to reward with an excursion trip to accra and they've so- gone for the excursion three three matches they are back and so you know sometimes when you you hear these coaches talking it's like nobody coached them about media media interviews um because you, you say something like that and you stop looking like the tactical of youth development manager that everybody thought you were. 
and you start looking like part of a shape, very questionable system. Um, so yes, it was not a great display. Um, lost to Uganda, lost to Senegal, came back home to Nigeria. I think they, they only managed to just sneak past Sudan, um, but they lost two matches and then they came back home and the questions are asked and you're saying, well, I had to take some boys that missed out on the last trip. Well done. Clap for yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good one. Well done, eh? Well done, sir. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> All right, let's go to, to Indian world. So we can say about that. Uh, the, the fact that the Falcons and then Nigeria is still on, on the second um, position on the table. And yeah, the flying eagles have crashed out. So Indian Wells will go where Carlos Alcaraz said his successful Indian Wells title defense was all the sweeter because he felt he had found himself in California desert after a difficult few months, motivated by the sting of, of the bees. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it's been a tough few months after Wimbledon especially. Um, you know, you, some, sometimes you, you, you do something great as winning Wimbledon, you're 20, you're enjoying your life as a young lad. The next thing, um, you come into this line, but it's not as if people are, had already, hadn't already started looking at him with expectations when he became world number one. But you win Wimbledon as a 20 year old, that's your second championship. Um, all of a sudden, people are expecting more from you. You are the next best thing in tennis, and he started to lose the market, the market day, <laughs> and he was losing. Um, not just to Novak Djokovic, that should be expected, not just to Medvedev, who is a few years older, but to Yannick Sinner, the guy he'd been fighting with um, from when they were both under 14s. They've been best friends off the court, but yeah. on court, they were facing each other. And so it, it was a tough pill to swallow because he struggled there um, after losing in Beijing. Thought that's okay, at the turn of the year, maybe. He'd be able to come back to full force. Went to Australia, was knocked out unceremoniously by Sasha Zverev in the semi-final. Um, when everybody was waiting to see, you know, a, an, a Carlos Alcaraz versus Djokovic in the final. Um, of course, he, Sasha Zverev knocked him out, and then Yannick Sinner knocked out Djokovic. So we didn't even get to see the, the hype we wanted to see. Um, and then after that. Uh, not such a great tournament. Then he picked up uh, the ankle injury. Um, second match in another 580 people. So it was not a great month coming into mm -hmm. um the desert. And then he gets to the desert, and people are questioning how good is that knee. And his first match wasn't great. It went all the way to three sets. We're like, ah, if you went three sets in your first match, you finished. Because the last time he won, um, in Indian Wells, he didn't drop a set. So you first match here, you have dropped a set. There were questions, there were all that, but he fought through that. Um, and the biggest fight I think he had to put up was when he had to fight not just the physical challenge I was on the court, but the psychological challenge that was in the head-to-head -head between himself and Yannick Sinner. And I think as soon as he overcame that hurdle, that was that was it for him. He had a, the, the final was boring. Mm -hmm. it, it, when you compare, not, not boring that you couldn't enjoy it, but it was boring, especially if you watched the semi-final between himself and Yannick Sinner. So it was almost like you got the best match in the semi-final and you just got um, what was left in the final. He completely obliterated Daniel Medvedev in the second set. In fact, at some point, Daniel Medvedev was saying, people should not support him anymore, they should clap for him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, a, it was a tough one, but yeah, to be able to win, to be able to come back into winning ways um, and come away with the trophy. It's a, it's a great one for Carlos Alcaraz. All right. Um, Iga Swatek dominated Maria Sakari to win the Indian Wells final 6 4 6 0 on Sunday and claimed the title for a second time in the California. This girl is just mean. In a final, she bagelled somebody. In a final, she didn't even say, Let me have. And yesterday was Sunday. Let me have small mercy. She kept it holy. She kept it. <laughs> <laughs> she kept it consistent. All right. Um, it, it was. It was. Look, as soon as Maria Sakari was able to get to the final, I was just like this gate with a tough one for you because, apart from your big serves and your big forehands, which sometimes you you don't have great control over and hit wildly, there's not too much weapons for Maria Sakari. Mm -hmm. She she moves around the court, but she's not the best court cop. She doesn't have the best court coverage. Um, on the tour. So it was it was a struggle to see um, how Maria Sakari would win this. I did expect a better fight, but um, the tough fight came in the first set. 
where she was broken she broke back um and she was able to stay in the fight but that's a concept that's exactly how things are supposed to be six love is the result i will expect when igash fiontech faces maria sakari mm -hmm. that was consistent so um sad one for maria sakari but the game is a game and igash fiontech right now is the best in on women's tour um fantastic results she got there uh she did the sunshine double the last time out so she's done she's won indian world i am not sure that the tour will allow her to win miami they'll be like how can you do no come on are you the only one in this neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a fight um especially as miami is, is literally back to back with with indian world so it's going to be a tough one um i don't know that she can hold it but i i'd like to see her try <laughs> but if it were by physique and going by countenance or demeanor, one would have thought Sakari would have just... No, the appearance doesn't count. Okay. Don't judge a book by a color. All right. <laughs> so let's go to Leicester now where we find Mauricio Pochettino pleaded with uh, Chelsea I, I fans. I want to ask a very... A question we to ask. You know how we used to talk in primary school? So this thing you said now, I wanted to say, do you think that Jet Li cannot beat the rock? <laughs> hmm. It might be too fast for the rock. Wait, that's what that's my point. So <laughs> stop looking at the appearance because yeah, Maria Sakari Maria Sakari's hobby now. is to go to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, that's her hobby. Oh wow. Yeah, if she wants to go to a happy place, she goes to the gym. Me looking. That's how oh, wow. she will look. <laughs> Can we touch on now? Mauricio Pochettino pleaded with Chelsea fans to trust him and show support for Raheem Sterling after their pair were booed uh, during Sunday's FA Cup quarterfinal win against Secundia Leicester. You know that the situation is bad when you win and you're booed. Um, <laughs> that's all I can say. Yes. Um, but you see, I, I think I should throw this to, out to Chelsea fans. Um, it, it was a tough one. Uh, you know, Chelsea went two goals ahead. Um, Ryan Sterling even missed the penalty and then he missed a, a clear sitter. Um, so I'm guessing that's why the booze came. Mm. And they're just thinking, Leicester City is in the championship. They don't really have any weapons to say. Why didn't you completely cancel out this team? And to make matters worse, in the second half, the Sassi scored a fantastic... I've not seen... Beyond somebody, you know, putting your putting you your name inside uh, uh, calling your name three times on top of a bowl of water or something i don't understand how this has turned around and put that ball in the back of his net because if you're doing a back pass to your goalkeeper you shouldn't hit the ball that hard yeah. and you shouldn't be hitting the ball towards your net it was the most accurate mistake i've seen in my lifetime how you come up with this this you see, look, the last time you said the easiest thing to do was to score and then <laughs> it didn't happen I, mean, no, 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 I, I don't understand how this has scored that own goal i still can't understand it maybe a chelsea fan will help me okay. since he's their player they understand this thing but he scored that own goal and then leicester city scored a brilliant color and somehow leicester city from the championship is now two all with chelsea from the premiership in a match that mm. Chelsea was supposed to be dominating and winning easily. Um, and it didn't make matters worse that Ch um, Leicester City got a red card. And Chelsea, Chelsea still couldn't score any goals until the um, maybe three minutes towards the end of the match. Um, Chukubuka had to come up from the bench, scored one goal, and then Noni scored the, the second goal to make it 4 2. But it was the scoreline is a delusion on exactly how Chelsea performed on the day and so Pochettino is saying I, I have this German machine but don't be angry with me because I was competing with a wheelbarrow and who are just like get out of this place <laughs> so I want to ask Chelsea fans yeah. um, because it's not been so bad think about it Chelsea is playing in the semi-final they meet Manchester City next next that could be a tougher one but it's the FA Cup and anything can happen um like it happened in manchester united but we'll get to that so chelsea meets manchester city next and because it's the fa cup the magic of the fa cup could help them too and they played in the final of the efl so if you're a chelsea fan could you tell us um if you have listened to pochettino's plea and will you be patient to him the numbers to send those messages to are zero eight zero nine triple four zero nine eight one mm, he said please you should reason with him um, that just because it's not there today doesn't mean it will not be there tomorrow so please um let us know do you are you going to reason with him or do you think now is the time to go we'll take all your messages 
after his quick break. First of all, Zibi will tell us whether she should, we should pick Pochettino. He speaks very sexy Spanish. Hmm? And his players can't give sexy passes. That's not the issue. Okay, I'm he, sorry. Penetrating sexy he, passes, he, I mean to say. He, he speaks sexy <laughs> Spanish. So will we allow him to stay? Will we allow Pochettino to stay? To so stay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Sometimes there is not much a person can do when he has a bunch of people that can't move their legs. Are you, so, wait, wait, wait. You are spending away. <laughs> They are blaming it on the players. Hey, come on, yo, so come on, are yeah. untrainable. Wahala, wahala, wahala. <laughs> Zibi oh says the players God. are the problem. Oh my hey, God. Chibo. Oh my <laughs> and they should not fire Pochettino, that we should fire the players. No. Please, I want to hear your thoughts on YouTube. Do you agree with her? No, 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 no. If you say the players are the problem, then they can't move. So it must right be that here. Pochettino is good, but the players are bad. But Pochettino has been decent before he came to Chelsea. I don't know if maybe it's not just a right mesh. I don't know. I mean, but but, but you know point. categorically that the players cannot move their legs. <laughs> This will not hold in court. It wasn't me. Or mass hypnotized please, please. me to say that. You, you two people, please come and ask her this thing that she said. She said it's a play, I know the code. We want to see your messages on YouTube. Please. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Zip's confessions. <laughs> Whoa! Chris, 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 you don't miss anything. Hey! You no, no, see, as soon as we go, we know that we'll be back with this. Oh yeah, it comes in. <laughs> it comes in. I want those messages. Hey. I want those messages. Zibi has thrown oh. the Chelsea players under the bus. Oh my goodness. She said it's not Pochettino. That yeah. The problem is not Pochettino. There's, well, there's a problem somewhere, but I can't put it squarely or at his feet. I think it's unfair. And Chelsea it's has a history Spanish. of not giving people like. Sorry? It's because he speaks Spanish. How is that the problem? How many of the players speak no, proper English? like Spanish people. That's why you like speak. All people. That's what you say. That's what you say. But you oh threw the players God. under the bus. Oh, those guys earn way too much money for not doing enough. It's yeah. ridiculous. So this is a jealousy, Santa. Okay. <laughs> I, I like the way that revelation is coming out. This is real Zib's confession. All right. Oh my we'll, goodness. We'll, come back, we'll take some of this. We'll just take one or two messages. Just one. Maybe, uh, um, and then we'll take one or two messages and come back to it. People have internet problems now, so it's probably harder. When you uh, swam into the water and went to cut our... Uh, it's not, are you not one of those people in the water side? <laughs> You're inside the locker room on Smooth 98.1. It's Tega, Omas, and Zibi. And you didn't put my mic. You really don't want me here. <laughs> Tega, I'm sorry. Zibi said I should be going home. <laughs> sorry, All Tega. right. Um, and if, you, if you're if all watching YouTube, she, you missed. She confessed to She told us whose side she was on. She told us how angry she is. That some people get paid and they don't do their work. And she wasn't talking about Smooth FM's management. So... <laughs> Now, let's just take one or two messages from WhatsApp and then we'll go to the next level, uh, right? Let's go over to Ibukun from Ketu saying, uh, my beloved Manchester United beat Liverpool. What a win and a comeback against um, our drivers. Anthony scored with his right foot. And then Man United won and Tega is back in the studio <laughs> with, a, with our jacket. He calls that underline our jacket. Uh, this will surely be a good week, Ibuku from K2. Nice one. Then the one who's been eavesdropping like a gecko on the wall anywhere he gets the gist. You guys don't know these things. Now that's Cruz. Cruz says Zeeb's confessions yes, are. Sir. That's you will know why if you is, go to YouTube. If you go to you YouTube, hear what <laughs> Zeeb said. Mm. <laughs> then Larry from the abroad. <clears throat> I was at Stanford the bridge yesterday and we were all fed up with uh, Sterling missed a pen. That's a penalty. Missed a, a sitter and then I had a holler of a free kick and many more. Posh uh, then subs Modric instead of Sterling and that's when all lost hell it, all hell broke loose <laughs> and the booing wow. began. <laughs> to be fair to him, he subs, uh, scored the winning goals, but it was against a 10-man Leicester. Uh, not impressed with him yesterday, and it needs to be more ruthless with his players and demand more Larry from the abroad. All right, so then we'll, we'll read the other messages later. Let's go to some, some stories next. 
Okay, Robert Lewandowski inspired Barcelona to a 3 0 triumph at Atletico Madrid on Sunday to keep their faint La Liga hope alive. This was not the match I expected to see. You know, after Atletico Madrid's heroics in the Champions League, I expected them to have some oomph, some fire in their belly. Um, and when the match started, they looked like they were going to deliver. The first chance like this in the first minute fell to Atletico Madrid. I was like, wow, this is going to be tough. And I sat down with my short bread because <laughs> that's what i was eating <laughs> and my bottle of water i was like let's watch blockbuster if you saw the way these people whimpered out of this contest oh before we blinked two zero i was like so what was the initial paragraph for you oh you, you just shoved the person they have given you two punches now yeah. match fight over it was it was a horrible display and i think you know what Diego simone and his boys should just shake their heads at the, their performance it was really poor um Alvaro Mor Mor morata was one of the people that would take the stick because he missed one or two opportunities mm -hmm. but he is not the worst player so far for atletico madrid so very tough one um for atletico but for barcelona and xavi as xavi has announced that he's leaving at the end of the season i think the boys are just trying to give him a goodbye present to escort him quickly out of the door mm -hmm. um because they seem to be putting a little more effort now and so um, they're through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and then they've defeated um, Atletico Madrid in match I thought would be tough for them but they did it very easily could have been more than three goals um, but what that did for them was that moved them to second but they're still a whole eight points hmm. behind Real Madrid mm -hmm. there's no catching up here let's go over now to Manchester United where Manchester United stunning four goals to three comeback victory over Liverpool in extra time in the FA Cup quarterfinals on Sunday kept their trophy dreams alive and manager Henrik Ten Hag hopes it will also be the catalyst to turn around their Premier League fortunes or misfortunes mm, people that used to do one step forward two step backwards they'll give you one fantastic result you'll be like Manchester United are back then next week you'll be like or not so because <laughs> And then <laughs> the, the other clothes are off. <laughs> they will lose again. But yeah, um, it was I, I I I didn't when I I mean looking at both teams of people, I remember what I said on Friday. I said it was going to be tough to see how they'll win. However, this is FA Cup and anything can happen. Well, anything did happen because it was not just that Manchester United won this one. Manchester United won it in one of the most painful ways you can win. Win it win this kind of football match against your arch rival after trailing by two goals to one score at a late equalizer with one of the worst players of the season anthony and then marcus rashford now missed a last minute what could have been a last minute winner only for them to put this dagger in liverpool's heart in extra time and it was not just anybody it was one guy that they had even flung out on loan they're like we don't even need this extra piece of furniture mm -hmm. they threw Ahmad diallo out and then they brought him back into the fold that rejected stone okay. was the one that scored winner when everybody was already preparing for penalty shootout that guy scored winner and then took off his shirt and collected red card <laughs> 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 do you know how annoying it can be for someone to say i'm ready to take red card on your matter <laughs> just to celebrate this goal yeah. uh, it was tough for manchester united that's how you beat an arc rival. You have to beat them mm. in a way that hurts. It has to be compounding and absolute. Mm. And that's what they did to Liverpool. You can call us now very upset. And I did not understand why he was upset. You win some, you lose some. It's football match. They don't used to draw in, in quarter final <laughs> of every cup. <laughs> every night must emerge. So um, but it must have been painful to him, especially given the fact that he kept taking the lead. Um Manchester United took the first lead, but apart from that, Liverpool kept taking the lead. You know, they took the lead to go 2-1. Uh, Manchester United came back. They took the lead again in extra time to go 3-2. Manchester United again came back. So it was it was painful for, for Jurgen Klopp, I understand that. Um, and it was also a, a damaging to his quadruple or treble chances as a farewell present. But it is what it is. It's the FA Cup and the magic happened. And Manchester United are through. And here's what is interesting about Manchester United. Um, they face Coventry City. <laughs> oh, wow. So chances are. <laughs> even if it's the FA Cup and there's small magic, chances are <laughs> they'll be in the final. All right. 
Okay, runaway leaders into Milan drew 1 0 with Napoli in Syria on Sunday after Matteo Dermien's first half goal was cancelled by a late header from Juan Jesus. Yeah, very, very disappointing from Inter Milan. After they scored that goal, I expected that they were going to score the second goal and they had the opportunity. They created chances, opened up Napoli's defence. There's just couldn't put the ball um, in the back of the net. Uh, and, and it was a tough one, um, especially after the, the way they were dumped out in uh, UCL uh, by Atletico Madrid. It could have been a tough pill to swallow. And, and as a team, you'd be looking for a winner from anywhere, a consolation winner. And this was supposed to be that, but they ended up drawing. The good news for them, though, is that they are 14 points clear at the top of the table. So even with these dropped points, they are still 14 points clear at the top of the table. AC Milan in second. Um, AC Milan also won their match 3-1, I think, against Verona. Um, so good news for them. There. So Inter Milan will not feel too bad. They'll be like, at least, if everything else is taken from us, the Scudetto, we have it 14 points clear at the top. So <laughs> let's see how it, it goes for them. Nine games left. Um, can they lose all 14 points in nine games? That would be... That'd be capitulation of epic proportions. So let's see mm. how that happens for them. Let's um, sum things up inside the locker room somewhere around Germany where Florian was scored after 84 seconds as Bayer Leverkusen made it 38 games unbeaten in all competitions with a three goals to two victory in Freiburg on Sunday. I'm telling you, this thing is becoming tougher. And I say it's because they haven't lost, that they are trying so hard to not lose. Um, but it, it was this this was a tough fight they lost three two they won sorry they won three two this was a very tough battle um for Leverkusen but somehow they just I think the, the the more the challenges get tougher the better the team rises um to the challenge and then wins so they won uh, this match and they are they still being able to maintain the 10 point gap um over Bayern Munich who had to come from behind to win their own match on Saturday by five goals to two. So if you were Arsenal and you were celebrating being drawn against Bayern Munich, they scored five goals in one match. Mm -hmm. Five. While Bukayo Saka was taking pictures with people in Boston, they scored five goals. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm not warning you, I'm just telling you what they did. All right, so on that note, um, let's take your messages to round up the show. Uh, we've got um, Ogundek Malua Shegun who's been waiting on YouTube saying the Chelsea team have a chance for silverware this season while Man United as, were smarter than Liverpool because they missed it. Uh, the player was sloppy and club changes were poor. Mm, I, I'm, I'm with you because I think he, he, he thought he had it in the bag. All right, a wife from Aniru says the Liverpool that showed up yesterday against Man United were cocky and overconfident and they paid dearly from it. Uh, let's see, Man United didn't want Liverpool to use their heads to win quadruple. <laughs> if Pochettino starts Ryan Sterling after the international break, he should be sacked. Cole is a gem. And uh, let's see, Tayo says, I think Poch, DLC and Ryan Sterling are some of the weapons fashioned against the progress of Chelsea. Man United escaped last minute banter. The God of Banter said not today. Congrats to them. The seven goals were properly shared this time around. Osai Samuel collected three points from a club I can't pronounce in Turkey and showed some of their hooligan supporters why he is here. I, I, I don't want to, so, so I'm a, a bit skeptical because mm. when you see the way Osai took out one of those fans. I saw that. Yeah, I was just like, that they may not call that self-defense so yes even if the fan ran up to the pitch to attack um again you have to remember he's a black boy in turkey so let's not be posting he's a black boy in turkey that's why he had to defend let, himself let, let, let's not be posting these videos like that because they may judge it a little differently because wow. i already i already saw one one post from one of the journalists saying is this self-defense and i like oga be coming down so again Please, let's not post the videos too much. Let's like has, it has a career in the UFC. <laughs> with that, though. Oh, I was I'm proud. Telling you, I was proud. I was like, this guy should be in MMA. What's he doing here? <laughs> and then Chidozi's message says, so Liverpool fans thought just because Klopp announced he was going to leave at the end of the season, therefore everybody should lay down for them to win a quadruple. It's true. Are you playing? Why can't they just buy presents? Why do you have to give him trophy? They should be singing Diallo Diallo this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then Emeka Onelum's message, Jorgen Klopp uh, came to that semi-final at Old Trafford with uh, his jam children and got embarrassed. 
even allowing Anthony to score shows poor uh, Liverpool defence was. On a second note, I don't get why referees are quick to send the coaches off when they complain. I feel Xavi was badly treated. No, that was the sense. Did you hear what he said? Because we didn't hear, but we knew that he said something that wasn't complimentary. Did so. we hear what Ateta to, uh, Ateta's comments were to Portos when he said he insulted his family? But, see. Eh? We didn't hear what? He said he insulted his family. Uh, the, re the, the coach, Abby? Does the coach have red card to show? <laughs> <laughs> the referee has red card to show. <laughs> Fabian, wrong message, wrong number. <laughs> All right, that is it for the locker room. All right, on that note, I want to thank you for sending your messages to YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to Smooth 98.1 FM. Thank you for